says, if you don't keep God's commandments, the only one true God, the one you say you believe in, right? He said, if you don't keep his commandments, because you do know God has commandments or a doctrine of life, right? He created all of this. He says, once I put you on earth, there's a way I want you to live and to have a stewardship over the earth and to steward your bodies. So watch this. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Because from God is supposed to come blessings, right? But he said, if you don't keep the commandments or the guidelines that I've created of this world, curses are going to come to you. Hey, brother, what's your name? What's your name? What's yeah, what's your name? My name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel, that's a godly name, brother. That's a godly name. Do you believe in God? Yeah, yeah. Do you believe in God? Yeah. Why do you believe in God? Because I know somebody has created the world. That's right. That's true. That's true. Let me see yourself on this side right here. Come here. I, mean, I can't stay too long, but yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Where do you see yourself on this side right here? Well, what's your nationality? Uh, black. Black, right? So right here we got American blacks. So according to the, according to the Bible, you will be of the tribe of Judah out of the nation of Israel. The same tribe that Christ came out of. Now what we was just dealing with was, let me ask you a question. Give me Matthew chapter 24 verse 5 again. Let me ask you a question, bro, because you said you believe in God. What God do you believe in? There is only one God, but there are many gods on the earth. So what God do you believe in? Which is who? Because they got Allah, people say Allah is a God, people say Krishna is a God, people say Buddha is a God. I mean, but like, when nobody knows who God is, you can't see God, God is spirit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you said nobody can see God, God is spirit, right? Okay, watch this, watch this. Give me, uh, give me Deuteronomy 32, 39. Watch this, watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am, he and there is no God with me. So here we are in the Holy Bible, right? God the Father of Israel, all right? The creator of heaven and earth. He says, see now that I am God and there is no God with me. Like you said, there's no God. So he's identifying himself right here. Read. I kill and I make a lie. So God that created heaven and earth, he says he's, he kills and he makes a lie. He's the, he's the one that issues death when people die in the world. He also is the one that issues life when people are born. Go ahead. I wound and I heal. When somebody get hit by a car and they get wounded, that's a judgment of God. That's an issue of God that he controls. And their healment, their, or when it, the healing of their ailments, he allows that as well. Go ahead. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. He says, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Let me watch you. Come here, come here. Look at these signs right here. Right? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Why did this happen to black people? Because remember, he said he kills and he make alive. Did not a lot of our people die during the transatlantic slave trade? I don't think God had nothing to do with it. You don't think God had nothing to do with it? Okay. So what happened? Why did, he, why, why did it happen then? White man slave. You said the white man enslaved us. They had nothing to do with God. You had, had nothing to do with God. Watch this. You know what I want. God ain't on this the book. Of, no, I started verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is Moses speaking prophetically what was going to happen to the nation of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. All right? Right now, we're talking to a Judite, an American black. These are atrocities right here that happened to the Judites, the American blacks, right? Watch this. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So Moses is acting as a mediator from God to the children of Israel or to the American blacks, right? And all the uh, so-called Haitians, uh, uh, West Indian blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and so forth and so on. He says, if you don't keep God's commandments, the only one true God, the one you say you believe in, right? He said, if you don't keep his commandments, because you do know God has commandments or a doctrine of life, right? He created all of this. He says, once I put you on earth, there's a way I want you to live and to have a stewardship over the earth and to steward your bodies. So watch this. 
that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Because from God is supposed to come blessings, right? But he said, if you don't keep the commandments or the guidelines that I've created of this world, curses are going to come to you. Or hiccups in life, right? Or atrocities. Read. Verse 48. Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies. He says, since you don't want to keep them, therefore, or because you don't want to keep them, I'm going to make you serve your enemies. Serve your enemies. Hold on, before you go. Nah, don't go. Don't run, brother. Come on. Don't run. Because remember, this is very important. You said you don't think God had anything to do with our atrocities. I'm about to show you he had everything to do with it. I'm, I'm going to show you. It's not what I think. It's what's in his word. Come on. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. What did the Bible say? Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord shall send against you. Which the Lord shall send against you. God had everything to do with the white man enslaving the black people. Do you understand that? He said, which the Lord shall send against you. Come on. In hunger and in thirst and in meekness. And what? And in nakedness. Nakedness. Meaning what? Whenever you wanted food. As a slave, who did you have to depend on to get it? Your slave master, right? Whenever you wanted water as a slave, who did you depend on to get it? The white man. If you wanted clothing, who did you depend on to get it? Your slave master, right? The white man. Let's say about today. Who do you get your clothes from now? No, answer the question. Who do you get your clothes from now? Where? Where? Where's everywhere? What is it? Okay, what clothing store? Name one. TJ Maxx. Who run that? Who run that? Oh, okay, 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 okay. TJ Maxx. What about Walmart? Who run that? Who run, who, who is that? Who run it? Sam Walt. Sam Walter. He is a rich white man that runs Walmart and Sam's Club. A white man. He's it said in what? In what? In hunger. And in want of all things. In hunger. And in want of all things, and in sh and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he have destroyed thee. He said, "What?" And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he have destroyed thee. What is upon this black man's neck right here? Don't run, brother. Come on. I know you gotta go, brother, but come on, because you said you believe in God. This is important, because look. The Bible is showing you because we broke God's commandments, God put us through slavery and atrocities, and we still suffer through them. But guess what's also here? How to get out. How to get the, the keys to eternal life, to rule over the entire earth and govern it. Don't you want that, bro? You do want it? So why you want to, why, why you so rushed to go? I'm going to give it to you. It's like, here, brother, take it. And you're like, nah, I don't want it. I don't want it. That's how you moving. No, no, no. I need, I need to go. Why you gotta go? What's so important? Where you gotta go? Uh, Where you gotta go? Uh, I gotta go pick up my car. You gotta go pick up your car. Right here. And so the car ain't going nowhere. Right. The car ain't going nowhere. We ain't gonna be here forever, brother. Right here. So if you want the keys to eternal life, you can't sacrifice five minutes, brother. Okay. Your car need your car is in desperate need of you for the next five minutes. I mean, I already know the keys. I grew up there. What is it? What's the keys? Said, eternal life. Yeah. How do you get it? First of all, you gotta die to get it. You gotta die to get it? Is that what the Bible say? Yeah. What scripture say that? I mean, like, I don't know exactly because I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, really, you don't know. Really, you don't know. I'm gonna show you something. One thing about us, we have to learn how to. Give me, uh, you got that, right? Hold that. Give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Come on, come on, brother. Come on. What's your name again? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Do you know that that's one of the titles of Christ? Yep, God's with us. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, God's with us. So, listen, brother. If you're supposed to be a God amongst the children of Israel, you're supposed to be a light to them. How are you going to be a light if you don't truly know how to get the hey, kingdom say, of heaven? Say. Hold on. Read, read Matthew 19. Let me show you how to get the kingdom, brother. This is the book of, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. Well, and behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do? That I may have eternal life. So, all of us want to find out how do we get eternal life? How do we get the kingdom of heaven? 
guess what? A young man said that, had that same question for Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. Jesus Christ is a black man, and yes, it matters. Christ is not a white man. Christ did not teach salvation for all nations. Read that one more time. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? We're about to read what Christ taught. Come on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. What should the black man do? Keep the commandment. What should the black woman do? An Hispanic man, an Hispanic woman should do. Keep the commandment. That's how we get eternal life. That's how we get the kingdom of heaven. By keeping God's commandments. But Christianity or the white man or the enemy, the same man that enslaved us and forced Christianity has taught us. You don't have to keep God's commandments. It's too hard for you. You don't have to do that. Christ died for your sins. That's what the, our enemy has taught us. But God said, or Christ himself said, he said what? Keep the commandments. He said unto him, which? Jesus said, which commandment shall we keep? Come on. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You understand what we just brought out, sister? Huh? The Ten Commandments. We brought the Ten Commandments. Now, let me ask you this. What are the Ten Commandments? And I don't mean by naming them. I mean in the sense of they are laws, right? But what do they embody? No, not necessarily the flesh. What are... Let me ask you this. What's a statue? It's a what? Not a statue. Statute. S-T-A-T-U-T-E. -T -T -E. Statute. A statue is like an ordinance or a sub-law. So let's say you have a law, right? There are ordinances that are under that law that you have to abide by in order to keep that law uh, in order, right? So for example, America has a law as in you should not supposed to murder. There are different statutes under murder, murder, right? You got homicides, then you have uh, manslaughter, then you have, what's that, different cases, right? What's it called? Reckless homicide. There's different statutes under that. The Bible embodies that. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.